Hey everyone, rainy sunrays here. It's been a while. I haven't filmed in a while. Uh, my life has been a little bit of a whirlwind, but I got these and I just couldn't help it. I had to share. Um, this is the new Puin, um, Puin, Puin. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to pronounce their name. P-U-E-E-N, um, stamping plates. <clears throat> I've reviewed some of their plates before, but I wanted to share these today because I just received them yesterday and it comes in this really cute little case. I love it. It's great. Um, yeah, I can't quite close it yet, but I think that's because the film is still on these. So let's get started. Okay, you can see that this collection here is the whole plate and all of them have a design on the entire plate except this little bit on the edge here. <clears throat> These are very similar to Moyu plates and I'm going to show you one of theirs here. Let's see Moyu London and um, they have a full, they use the, well, except this portion right here. I'm going to take this wrapper off here. So you can see there's just comparatively to the queen. And measurement wise, let me get my ruler here. Just over yeah, two inches. And then we'll you. I'm filming on my uh, phone. It's the Galaxy Note uh, 3, if you were curious on that. See? And that is about four, just over four and a half inches, almost five inches there. So let's get started on the plates. I'm going to go quite quickly through these just because at any point you can stop the video and. Um, look at them in more detail. So this is plate 70, plate 57, plate 58, zoom in here, maybe that'll help. This is plate 69, Maybe move it just a little bit there. Okay. Plate fifty six. Sixty eight. I wish I had had this during um, Valentine's Day because there's some really cute ones for Valentine's Day. Plate 60. Seventy-one, 
56. And finally, 50. This one, um, I'm a little concerned for. It looks like there is like extra, I accidentally messed up here and here and there, some here. It's almost like, I'm not sure. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how that one stamps. I've got my trusty card. This one is from um, Cheeky. And uh, I painted my nails white. And I'm going to stamp with, this is um, uh, LA Colors uh, Art Deco Striping. Uh, I love this because it's so opaque. Um, so I, I typically, if I'm going to stamp in black, I, I use this and it's easy to find. And then and then my stamper from MASH, which is my original stamper. <clears throat> um, so just to, to prep it, because I'm, I'm not sure what, what's on the, the base of this, I'm just going to go ahead and, and sweep some acetone over that just to get it ready. There is, let's see, will it zoom in? Not showing that. There we go. Looks like a beautiful transfer. The flower right here is lovely. There we go. I think it's a beautiful transfer. It worked out really nicely. Hmm. I think if I had more nail, maybe. <laughs> But you get the idea. She's so pretty. Those eyes are really pretty. That's not bad. But So we don't have to do as many scrapes. Um, there we go. Oh, I like this one. It's really pretty. 
other spells. Okay, I'm back. So, fresh coat of white. This one is still wet, but um, I think I like this guitar, and I'm gonna put it right there. Um, see how this turns out here. It's quite cute. I like it. Those transferred nicely. I love this. You can pick any spot on this plate that you want and just go for it. Flower, but uh, there we go. Beautiful. That's the part of um, this flower, I believe, right here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this one. This one's the one with the scratches on it. I'm going to see how it does. I'm going to try to put it on my thumb. It showed up. You see that? Right through the O. And then right there too. But it's right up there. That is disappointing. Let it sit for a second just so I don't smear it. Uh, lovely. Transferred really nice. Okay. Oh, not bad. Oh, I see. There is a um a line in it. So I'm gonna have to if I redo it. I see it in the plate itself. I don't think it's supposed to be there. It's a... You can barely see it right there. That's too bad. And then it shows up when you stamp it. Mm. And for me, that's actually not a big deal because I can just fill it in with, you know, the, the color I'm stamping with. Um, this was a quick stamp. I didn't actually go all the way around to the edge. Um, but it transferred really nicely, and you get the effect of the heart, and it's lovely. Okay, so I uh, added a... I didn't really clean up that well. I just did a quick cleanup. But then I added a top coat to this one here. Um, and <laughs> as I was cleaning, I'm really not focusing on this very well. Um, but I wanted you to get the idea... So pretty. I love the stamping. All right, well, all right, so overall census for these is that I really like them. It's worth the 20, I think I paid $23 for them. It's worth it, I think. And um, I would say they're 80% transferred. Um, and that just goes from uh, not, I would say 80% of the images transfer, and then when you stamp it, 80% of the stamp transfers, which is actually really, really good. And if you sit there and play with it and find the specific opaque polish that you need and the stamper that you need, and you're kind of in a setting where it's more comfortable and you don't get frustrated, you could actually do a lot with these and um, be very creative, creative with them. So I give these a huge thumbs up and recommend them completely. Um, the case is so adorable. I love the case and um, just snaps like that. 
So, hmm, so cute. Love it. Um, so I would completely recommend these and I hope you um, purchase them. I'll leave a link below. I know they're on Amazon, but I, I think they might have sold out. Um, but maybe they're not by the time you're watching this video. And then um, their website. And I'll leave a link below to all that or you can visit my blog. And I'll have more pictures there too. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.